Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fix um, the permissions problem that you may have on your Mac. So let's say you're getting this message. You're just trying to open a screenshot that you took from your picture or something, a PDF file, any file actually. And it's not opening with preview for some reason. Um, although it says permission problem, um, the first thing that you guys should see is just right click on it and uh, get info. Okay, and then you'll get this thing. So you should see down here. Um, it should say, let me just put this here, okay, so down here, it should say read and write, read only, read only, that doesn't really matter, it shouldn't be locked or anything like that, so that you can see that here, so once you check that out, okay, and everything's fine, um, go to disk utility, now I'm assuming you tried the disk utility way, this is the next, next step up, but uh, in disk utility, you can fix permissions, Okay, so I already made another video showing you how to do that. I will go over it very fast right now just to show you guys, just in case you guys haven't done that just yet. Um, so right here you're supposed to click on your HD drive, and here you go, just press uh, repair disk, verify disk, and I also verify disk right here, just in case. Okay, if you have any problems, also repair it. But apart from that, this should be fine, okay? If this still doesn't solve your problem, that's why you're watching this video. So we're gonna stay, take it up a step further, okay? But we won't get into any anything that difficult, okay? No terminal and a bunch of coding and stuff like that. So we're gonna take it up the next level and this should fix your problems. So, um, if preview is your main problem, we're gonna go to this webpage right here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on it a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, you can also see it on the descriptions of this video. Okay, then we're just gonna download. Okay, download uh, for my Mac. So once that that's downloaded, it's already downloaded once. That's my second time that I'm downloading this. You guys are gonna open it up and install it. So this is a program that's not gonna really fix your thing. Okay, not not just because you're running it, it'll fix it. Um, on some some rare cases actually just running it does fix it but in most cases no you have to tweak it a little bit okay okay so our main thing is to actually get this installed right here so basically to do that um, all you have to do is go to your finder go to folder okay so right click on finder go to folder and then type this in okay library uh, click go so you should see this right now and we're just gonna scroll down until you see preferences hold on type in p go down there we go so once you guys see this open it up okay so go right into it and you just have to copy and paste it up to here okay so we're gonna do that just drag and drop in this case uh authenticate it's fine perfect okay guys so your next step once you have that app installed okay you guys should see it down here right now so it's right here on that um also make sure if it doesn't let you do this because you don't you know it's not directly from apple and so on just go to your security and privacy and from there just go to general and make sure that you can allow apps to be downloaded from anywhere so you can just open this up i'm gonna unlock it Okay, if it doesn't let you unlock, like right now it didn't let me, you have to set a password. So I'm gonna just change password. The old password is nothing, I'm gonna just put in a temporary right, right now. Now you guys can put any password you want. You guys can put this or not. So I'll change password. We're gonna lock it again. Make sure to put in your password in order to unlock this. And don't forget that password, it's really important. So. Um, just click on anywhere you can change that up later on if you're worried about apps but you really shouldn't be downloading anything that you don't know about okay um so I'm just gonna lock that right now and it's okay so we're just gonna open up again okay, system preferences we're gonna go into it okay I'm just gonna click okay all right so from here we have to go into media Okay, so you should see a, a bunch of things here. Actually, you may see more or less. Now, on apps, it should take a while in, in order to download all your apps. 
um, well, it's not downloading, it's just uh, authenticating and seeing where your apps are at and just um, uploading them here so you guys can see the extensions and what they're related to. So, um, your next thing is to actually look for premium. So we can just type in on any of these, type P, or drag us down, there's preview. Here are the associations with preview, okay? So this is your problem actually. Um, so let's say your Adobe PDF is not working, just click on it, okay? So here it says uh, portable document, so okay, so make sure that has a check mark. Okay, um, Adobe Photoshop image, or you could open it up with preview, so let's just click. Okay, besides looking at URLs, um, we're gonna go into extensions, that's where you find the DMGs and all that stuff. So here's DMG for example, and the default application is wrong. So we're gonna ch check that out, and that's, that's totally, totally wrong. So we're actually gonna pick other, okay, and you're gonna want to go to applications, and we're gonna look for preview. So just type on any, type in P, so it takes you down to preview. Add that in, and there's your DMG. You just updated it to be with preview. Um, so that's your extension for a DMG. So preview. So that's fine. So it's Okay, just make sure when you go back on it, make sure that check mark is still there. If it's not, remember to set as default. That way it's, it actually stays. If it didn't, um, yeah, so just check that up. Should be good. We can go back to it again, check if it's still there. All good. So then we go to our next step, which is just restarting your Mac. Right here, restart. It's gonna restart and then everything should be fine. If it isn't, then we'll go back and tweak it a little bit more. But apart from this, that's it guys. You've done it. It's all gonna be working right after you restart your Mac. If you have any questions, comments, or keep having problems with this, you can comment right here below on the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate.